Welcome back to the Lenten Lessons on the Mass Premium Edition. Today, I want to tell you about the crucifix. C-R-U-C-I-F-I-X. Crucifix. Whenever you walk into a Catholic church, there are three things that should be immediately visible to you, whether it's a big church or a small church. And the first is the tabernacle, where Jesus Christ is kept in the Holy Eucharist. The second is the altar, where the Mass is celebrated. And the third is the crucifix. Now, in our chapel, we have a large wooden crucifix on the marble wall behind the altar. It's so easy to see when you walk in. And then a smaller crucifix on the altar, so that when I'm celebrating Mass as a priest, I can look at the crucifix because I don't have eyes in the back of my head. So why do we have a crucifix in the church? Because our religion is about a person. That person is Jesus Christ. And the most important thing he ever did for us and for the whole history of the human race is he died on the cross. And we died on the cross. He won us the grace of redemption. So the general instruction of the Roman Missal, which is in this book, tells us in every church there should be a visible cross with the crucified body of Christ. Some are painted, some are sculpted. This is a beautiful sculpture, hand sculpted out of wood. And you can see the nails in the hands of Jesus and the crown of thorns. You can see that he has died, but it draws you in to love the Lord. Here on this crucifix, we see the same thing. We see the nails in the hands of Jesus and Christ has died for us. Because during the Mass, what happens is the re-presentation of the sacrifice of Christ on the cross, but in an unbloody manner. It's as if time stands still. I also like to recommend that you carry a little crucifix in your pocket if you wish. Maybe it's on the end of your rosary. So at the moment of temptation, pride or anger or lust or disobedience, you bring out that crucifix, you kiss the crucifix, and you ask Jesus to help you. So next time you go to church, look for the crucifix.